What is going on my juice box army? It is Gistra and I am back with some more kill confirmed action. What is new? This time I'm playing on the map interchange and I'm rocking that P90, the gun with unlimited bullets. Well, that's not entirely true. If I had extended mags and I was rocking scavenger, then yeah, maybe. But this this SMG is probably it's either my favorite or my second favorite. This and the PP90 M1 are definitely my favorite SMGs in the game. They are beast. And uh, I just kind of went ham bone in this game with it. And uh, you're about to see the carnage that Juicy can put out there. <laughs> but uh, before I go any further, guys, I just wanted to wish a very, very uh, happy Thanksgiving to all my American brethren. Because this video is going up on American Thanksgiving. I really wish I could be down there. Stuffing my face with turkey, some stuffing, drinking some beers. But you guys, if you're not of age, don't drink beer. It's not good for you. It's bad. A lot of bad things happen. Uh, but seriously, um, I mean, in Canada, we had our Thanksgiving in October, and you guys are going to be like, if you're from America, we're like, what the heck? That doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense here in Canada, so just just go with it. So happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you guys have a great gobble-gobble day. Um, I wish I was down there. But uh, this video, I mean, well, first of all, Stan will go on hand with that Type 95. Stan from Astro Gaming is a beast. He's such a beast at this game. Um... But yeah, okay, let me get on topic here. This video is going to be about the Moab because I've been getting a lot of messages on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, um, in comments of my videos asking, hey, Juice, how do you get a Moab? I always seem to die like, you know, on a 20 kill streak or whatever. So my answer to that, well, first of all, listen, I am, I'm no Moab king, no Moab god. I'm an average player, guys, and I have my troubles as well. Um, but... The first tip that I can give out that really helps me is don't think about going for the mob. The moment you think about going for it is usually the moment that you start to overthink situations and then you start to screw up and you're just you're not going to have a good t chance of getting it. You're going to mess up and then you're going to get pissed off with yourself, frustrated, etc. So don't think about it. Just go with the flow, just play the game. Like the Marka J says, he doesn't go for gameplays. He just plays the game, and if things happen, he's got a video. So just just go with the flow, guys. Play the game. Don't think about it. Overthinking things messes you up, at least for me. The second tip is don't get discouraged when you die. I mean, as you can see at the beginning of this video, uh, I think we were up like 20 to 5 or something at one point, and I had died three times. And, I mean, the game's now, what, a third over? And I didn't freak out, right? Like, I just kept playing. Again, because I wasn't thinking about going for the Moab. I just kept playing. I didn't get discouraged. I just went with the flow. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is, well, stick to the outsides as much as possible. You're going to see me in this video on this Moab. I'm sticking to the outsides. And right here, I actually thought I was going to die. Because look at the raider up there. There's like four guys there. I didn't know what my next move was going to be. So I just waited. And then that guy started to come at me. And I knew this guy was just going to be sitting there waiting for me. So I went for it. So... That's tip number uh, three, guys, is stick to the outsides. I mean, that's where you're going to have the least chance of getting shot in the back. And that's usually the you know the number one way people die is they get shot in the back. And that's actually, it gets frustrating after a while when you get shot in the back. So sticking to the outside definitely minim minimizes that. Um, so that's, that's the third tip, guys, outsides. If you have to venture into the middle, just do it cautiously and do it at the right time. Be, you know, be on your radar, knowing where your enemies are going to spawn, where your teammates are, etc. Um, so that's actually the fourth tip is to know the spawns. Now, if you have like a day or you know two days played in this game already, it's been out for two weeks. Um, you should know generally where the spawns are. Now, in Kill Confirmed, it's a little more chaotic and hard to know where the spawns are. But usually, where your teammates are on the opposite side of the map is where the enemy is going to be. So just know that. And that's also, you know, tying into it is just you got to know where your teammates are. Really know where they are. And I always try to stay on the opposite side of my teammates. Unless I'm, I feel like I am getting close to a mob, then I'll probably try, start to stick around with my team just for that extra support. It's like a cushion. Um, now, tip number five is just to play in the moment. I mean, I said this a little bit earlier, but, and you know, if you guys watch, you know, Mark J. Just play in the moment. Don't think about it. Don't think about, like, oh, I need to get a gameplay, or I need to get a Moab. I need to get, like, an Osprey Gunner. Don't even worry about it. And right here, this is kind of funny. I see that guy's tack insert, and I'm like, okay, where is this guy? He's probably a little bit of a noob. He's probably hanging around here. Let's see if I can I can sniff him out, find him. 
my buddy dies over there and there he is take him out and then i just go stare at his attack insertion bam you're done bun thanks for the two kills buddy um but yeah tip number five just play in the moment just you know have fun gaming is all about having fun right so i mean it's no different when you're going for a moab just have fun if things happen fall into place you know it's just meant to be i mean you can't oh you can't get a moab every game well, I guess there it is. There's the 24 point streak. There's my Moab. 57. We're at 57 to 27 up. So I mean, I've got some time to spare. Knife this guy and bam. Um, but one last tip, guys, is be quiet. At least for me, when I'm playing, if I start talking a lot, I start not thinking about the game properly, and I make stupid mistakes. I end up dying a lot. So you'll notice if you ever play with me, when I'm when I'm in in the zone, I'm very quiet. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this Moab. It was a it was a fun one to get. Um, I kind of went ham, but I think I went 41 and three in the end. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and a comment, and I will see you later.